welcome back students to one more topic of your periodic properties that is your electronegativity so in the previous class i've taught you what is electron affinity or electron gain enthalpy what are the trends to be followed now we'll be studying about the complete concept of electronegativity so in this concept what what will i, will I teach you will i'll be teaching you about the definition i'll be teaching about uh, the polling scale i'll be also giving you the concept of aldrich and Ro uh, rocher's method how to find the electron duty value millikan's method also i'll discuss after that i'll be discussing about the factors affecting electronegativity then i'll be taking you how is electronegativity value varying in a group in a period finally we'll end up the electronegativity concept with the applications of electronegativity so basically whenever you're learning a concept try to learn it completely then yes so let's start so electronegativity first of all uh, this concept of electronegativity was got or was uh, brought into effect by pauling right so he has explained pauling has given us in which year in 1931 he said what is electronegativity definition it is a power or the tendency of an atom all right in a molecule to attract the shared pair of electron towards it once again let us write the definition it is electronegativity it is the power or tendency of an atom in a molecule to attract the shade pair of electron shade pair of electrons towards itself okay right this is the concept done now here after writing the definition we will uh, as i said i'll be teaching you about uh, millikan scale uh, millikan's method or pauling's method and aldred uh, rocher's method now before going to the concept let me teach you what are the factors which affect electronegativity now we said it is a tendency to drag the electron suppose if i have hcl now this is more electronegative it tries to drag so the tendency to attract the shade pair of electron towards itself is electronegativity first of all when i have to speak about the factors affecting electronegativity factors it is a affecting electronegativity the first important factor as i've shown you as i said whenever a particular element has maximum electronegativity when will that have if the z effective is uh, what do you say strong then right so once again first factor is electronegativity is directly related to z effective it is again inversely related to size the first concept which is remember next important now again i'm uh, in expect explaining the same the whole explanation for this concept is done in the inorganic series or uh, inorganic trick series please watch that video there i've given the complete explanation here i'm directly writing it now next electronegativity is directly related to ionization enthalpy and also directly related to electron affinity last but not the least this particular thing depends on the charge also how electronegativity is directly related to the charge charge of atom which charge if i take positive charge okay right so students please watch that inorganic trick series where i am explain that because i am just writing it here but i have given one one explanation in that concept now let's see how is this electronegativity varying in a group and in a period suppose if i take a period okay so what will happen when i move from left to right what is happening as i said electronegativity is directly related to z effective i said that so from left to right in a period what will happen to this atomic size atomic size decreases when atomic size decreases what will happen to the z effective z effective increases when z effective increases what will happen to electronegativity electronegativity also increases 
let's start suppose if i have to take the order for first written in any period so 1a is less than 2a this is minimum value less than 3a less than 4a less than 5a less than 6a less than 7a this is maximum right suppose if i have to take an example and explain you all what actually is this just see suppose if i take an example like lithium lithium less than beryllium less than boron less than carbon less than nitrogen less than oxygen less than fluorine suppose if i take in terms of sodium less than magnesium less than aluminium next is silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine so in any period what will happen maximum halogens will have so whenever they give you a halogen you should say whichever is towards the left uh, right hand extreme in the periodic table that will have maximum electronegativity alkali metals have minimum electronegativity so what will happen to the zero group elements so let us take this as next example for zero group elements electronegativity value is zero since they have stable configuration isn't it and they were they have no tendency to attract electrons they don't require an electron only they just the electronegativity value will remain zero for noble gas elements suppose if i have to take the same concept in a group right the same thing in a group so what will happen from top to bottom atomic size increases when atomic size increases what will happen to z effective z effective decreases right so when i as i said en is directly related to z effective so when z effective decreases electronegativity value also decreases that means when i take an example fluorine greater than chlorine greater than bromine greater than iodine if i'm taking a group it goes like this isn't it fluorine chlorine bromine iodine next oxygen greater than sulfur is greater than selenium greater than tellurium nitrogen is greater than phosphorus greater than arsenic greater than sp right so remember students in a group and in a period but most important thing which you should remember during your uh, uh, concept of electronegativity is see remember this concept very very important thing to remember first of all all the metalloids have nearly two values of electronegativity almost almost nearly two values very close by values right and the remember this electronegativity value of oxygen nitrogen chlorine carbon b very important a trend four this is 3.5 3 2.97 2.5 and 2 so this value is very important for you all because most of the questions they'll be asking you from this factor only right now let us see the applications of electronegativity right students let us write the heading applications of electronegativity where 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 is electronegativity used so let us write the heading applications of electro negativity right so electro negativity basically um, i can use it i can use it for calculating partial ionic character so means I, how much is because be, whichever is maximum electronegative it will try to drag the electrons so i can use it for calculation of ionic partial ionic character so partial ionic character correct so on which what is the depend this depends upon electronegativity difference this depends upon dipole moment of the compound also next i can use electronegativity for calculating bond strength how can i use this let's see this 
the electronegativity difference is directly proportional to the bond strength. The difference of this. So more uh, more is the electronegativity difference, more is the strength of that. For example, HF is greater, HCl greater, HBr greater than HI. Now, what did I say? The difference of electronegativity is that be proportional to bond strength. Remember that. Next, I can also denote the bond angle. Okay. Bond angle is directly related to electronegativity. Here also the same thing, directly related. So what happens in case of fifth and sixth group? Uh, bond angle de uh, decreases down the group. Why? As electronegativity, the central atom also decreases. Let us take examples. If I take ammonia, greater than phosphine greater than ASH3 greater than SBH3. So, what is the bond angle? 107 degree. What is the bond angle here? 93 degree. Here it is 91.8 degree. So, here it is 91.3 degree. So, this is your bond angle trend. So, bond angle is directly related to electronegativity. Remember that. So, these, this is the concept of electronegativity. These are the factors and these are the applications of electronegativity students. So, I'll meet you again in my next video with Malikan scale, uh, Pauling scale as well as, as I said, it is a bit difficult to pronounce, Alred and Rocher's method. Thank you for watching.